So what's up everybody? It's Vendergott here and today oh sorry and today we're gonna speak about my first ever trade with another painter. So it is story time, so uh, grab some coffee, I have wine and listen to my story. I'm sorry about sounds, but what can I do? I'm filming outside because it's still warm and summery here. So uh, in the middle of August, um, just uh, some random person uh, texted me. August. Some uh, random person just uh, texted me in uh, Vkontakte, it's like Facebook, but uh, it's uh, for Russian citizens. So just some guy texted me about if I can um, put his commercial in my art group. Um, but I thought that, you know, it is for free and it's not that interesting. And I realized that I never had a trade with anybody. Uh, if you don't know, trade is when you um, ask somebody to draw something for you that you want, like you uh, you give uh, this person uh, some kind of topic and um, this person give some topic for you. So yeah, you um, have to make some picture and another person have to make some picture uh, specially for you. So yeah, it's like kind of a commission, but without money, you pay with your art. So yeah, it's a really cool thing. And I was so excited to try this. My part you will see in this video and uh, part that make my partner Veresk. Uh, you can see right here and look how cute is this. Um, I never tried to use this kind of palette so it's really unusual for me and his topic was mermaid with uh, some uh, spirit animal and my topic was a 13 year, year old girl with red balloon and uh, huge um, spirit so yeah <laughs> let's jump into the video Hello again guys and this is my old format where when I was in the corner of my video so um, yeah I want to recreate this in this video um, so uh, let's start and uh, as you can see I don't have any um, sketch uh, perfumed sketch because my computer doesn't want me to film the sketching process i don't know why but my uh, program uh, open free camera it's just turn off every time um, when i try to make a video from my screen but i'm really happy that um, the rest uh, the coloring part um, and i think it's the difficultest and the it is more difficult and more interesting part and I I'm really glad that uh, it that I have it on uh, video so yeah um, as always I use my paint tool side too and my old vacuum bamboo fan if you don't know what uh, what is this uh, say paint tool side too just google it it's really simple and um, pretty program and what about vacuum bamboo fan. I can show you this. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this is my old boy. He's ten year old, so he's like you know in the middle school right now. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, as I said before, this is trade. I, I'm talking about my artwork. <laughs> so uh, this is trade. So um, I don't pick the topic for this artwork and I'm really happy uh, how it turns because at first I thought about uh, Hayao Miyazaki art and of course about Ghibli because it's a little girl, it's a balloon and it's a big spirit kind of Totoro or um, like in Princess Mononoke but after that I decided to do something really completely different because I have one artwork um, about Ghibli and yeah I want to make something different so uh, a little bit about this artwork um, this time I used photo phone it is not an embarrassing thing yes um, when you're um, using somebody's or maybe yours photos but you have to do something with this photo you can just you know like put it on the background like it is and uh, pretend that this is all your art just blur it or something like that no this is not that good but if you struggle with phones maybe maybe it's kind of an exit for you i don't know but this time i was struggle with background for four and a half hours and yeah it was really completely struggle um, I don't know why because when I started this artwork I make a sketch and I show it to my partner uh, our art partner in this time uh, I show it to Virisk and he said oh my god that's cool I like atmospheric and something like that but then when I decided to pick some color palette I just thought oh my god what what have I done <laughs> why why I'm in it because I don't know what to do with the background I'm not a background painter oh my god. and it's really a big uh, a big thing for me to make complete background so uh, after many hours of struggles I decided to have some photo from a free photo stock because I don't have um, my uh, photo kind of that I need uh, because most of the time I use my photos uh, kind of like a reference or like a base like uh, Ross Train use uh, his photos for the base of his art and uh, yeah this time I just uh, take a picture from a free photo stock and uh, use it on my artwork of course I um, make some color changes and I draw um, on it a little bit like not a little bit so I draw on it and right now you can't actually say what photo was uh, at the beginning because I change it a lot but uh, that um, that step when I decided to use photo is just make my uh, work like completely um, atmospheric like it's full uh, the circle you know I don't know how to explain it but you know at first it was like I'm I have just pieces of circle and when I put background on it it's like oh my god sorry it's like complete circle and yeah it was a good decision and um, after that I uh, have some struggles with leaves um, at the uh, mm, 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 at the um, at the front and uh, I decided to use photo from four leaves like you know like a reference but it doesn't work so after that I uh, have to repaint a girl's dress because it was another struggle because with spirit it's like you know for me it's easy I, I like spirits I like something glows and um, it's really easy for me to make something um, that I don't know that shaped or you know but when it's about people when it's about uh, back when it's not about face or eyes or something like that it's it, of course it's uh, it's hard and uh, 
you know, like working with that big piece and it's out of my comfort zone and it was uh, hard. So, after three repaints of girl's dress, I decided to uh, have an inspiration from Pixmilk. If you don't know who is Pixmilk, I um, leave you a link below in the description box. He's amazing artist with amazing style and uh, I have his art books and uh, yeah, I, I, I can spend hours and hours looking for his artworks and uh, they are really amazing color palette graphic um, um, and just like you know all that style all that lines all that color spots they are completely amazing so I, I watched for three of his artworks like in my color palette and uh, yeah it was really helpful so if you have uh, really big struggles with color or uh, with the shape or you know like you have an idea but you don't know how so just look on um, uh, artists works complete works uh, which you really like and maybe maybe this will inspire you for doing something in your own style so guys di um, despite all of the troubles it was a really uh, good experience with trade because yeah it's the step out of your comfort zone because your partner your art partner uh, can give you such task that you never choose for yourself and uh, maybe um, if we maybe if we have another trade with this guy maybe I want to um, have a little bit uh, a little more difficult task for ourselves uh, with uh, choosing color palette not like not only a topic but a color palette and uh, yeah he works in such a dark uh, palette such dark colors in and uh, with intensive violet with intensive uh, almost neon green and for me it's like something <laughs> not like out of my comfort zone it's it's like another planet you know guys because I like pastels I like neon but with pastels I like uh, really uh, bright colors but with pastels and uh, without any black I don't use any black on my artworks for last four or five years um, only only on a on, only on Inktober but I just don't have a uh, brown ink so if I found really good brown ink I will make my artworks in Inktober in brown <laughs> so uh, what can I say um, about this artwork yeah it was really good but <clears throat> uh, if you have some um, struggles with your art maybe and you have some friends in art community just i don't know talk with them maybe you can do a trade and uh, maybe this will inspire you to do something completely different and it's like really big push for you <laughs> like um, i don't know like kick your ass kind of thing in this artwork i have uh, such such a strong struggles about things that I actually always uh, try to avoid. It's like um, strange angles and uh, big backgrounds. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe it's a sign that I have to uh, grow up and uh, do what I never did. So right now I have in progress my newest art about mermaid because I never just just think I never in my life drew a mermaid um, maybe in my childhood but I actually don't remember I was like you know too realistic for for the child because I don't have any uh, unicorns and mermaids in my 
sketchbooks when I was younger. I drew everything that was around me or maybe something from um, movies or um, animation. But you know, Disney animation is realistic, kinda. And uh, all movies that I watched was were like for adult, like not for a child. It wasn't a fairy tales. It was like drama and thrillers. So yeah. And right now I'm kind of fall fall in my childhood and try to do something really fairy fairish. Um, and it's it is hard, you know. Um, so I decided to make a mermaid. But right now, when uh, this work is in progress, and um, at first I make sketch, and at second I make like uh, quick uh, color, um, quick colors, like just kind of sketch um, for just to see an atmosphere. And um, I think that it's not actually a mermaid. <laughs> so. And uh, about an inspiration, uh, so it's like um, I'm talking about mermaid, and I don't tell you why, why, why I'm talking about mermaid. So my art uh, partner in this trade, Veresk, he have a task from me uh, to do a mermaid with uh, some spiritual animal. And uh, after that, when he did his artwork and presented to me, uh, I, re I realized that I never did mermaid. So, if maybe you did some trade with somebody, uh, just at first you have your topic, he or she has uh, his or her topics, but then you can switch your topics because yeah it's really interesting to see how uh, two different person can make uh, something different but uh, with uh, one topic <laughs> i hope you understand me i'm a little bit out of place because it was a uh, um, difficult time a little bit, uh, so I'm right now alone with my mink and um, uh, one and a half month before we were three in, in this apartment, in this eight square meters. Uh, my husband, my mom and I and my cat and my mink, so it was five of us and it was a little bit hard because yeah when you didn't have any privacy for such a big time i love my mom i love my husband but i want privacy <laughs> so that's why i'm not that regular in youtube because um when somebody is in room you can do something you know like what what you what you maybe want to do or you can just take a camera and uh, make a video because everybody's watching everybody's make noises everybody's need his or her privacy privacy so it's really hard but uh, let's uh, return to this artwork because I try to <laughs> I try to speak about my artwork today and this is third attempt to make uh, audio for this uh, artwork so it became a video right now yes um, why because um, my husband present me this microphone this little bitch and um, I thought that it will be a good idea to have a new audio but uh, my uh, phone doesn't have a jack you know what is jack doesn't have this kind of thing on it so i have to use like this special thing for this and dot and that special thing is broken so and i can't buy it in russia so yeah what this special thing yeah you see you see you see you see this so this special thing is broken and i, and I can't 
buy it in Russia because this is Blackview and this is not Russian thing. Yes, and um, uh, this microphone doesn't work with my notebook properly. It have really metallic sound. And uh, the first two attempts to make an audio for this uh, artwork were completely ruined by this metal uh, strange sound of my microphone. So, yeah, it's the third attempt and this is uh, almost a month after I did this artwork. So, yeah, my impressions are not completely fresh right now and I'm not fresh too because this is the first day when I'm alone after one and a half month of being such a mess. <laughs> Yeah, it's like resting time and today is rainy day, so I'm I'm at home and feeling myself oh, so relaxed <laughs> and I have so much ideas for new videos and uh, right now I'm addicted to my ukulele, I'm, yeah, I'm playing ukulele and uh, I always with my ukulele, I'm always playing and I'm always singing and it's really cool thing it's really cool feeling i never feel that before because i was a dancer um and it is different it's completely different when you drew when when you have your drawing like on the air um, on the street or maybe you have um, a dance class on the street or kind of competition on the street it's not that thing it's a completely different and i like this feeling so and i have a second new second new <laughs> addition it is embroidery yeah i i actually i dreamed about that kind of moment and i always don't have any time for this but right now i'm making that cute 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 little guys and this is my new obsession this is pangolin so i have one me one blooming one white mink in sweater and i presented to my mom and this is pangolin this is so big and this will be live in my jeans because they are completely ruined and i want to uh, <coughs> help them so and right now i have so much ideas and i'm I'm not full of energy, <laughs> but I have so much ideas and this um, the end of September almost so I need to be prepared for Inktober and I hope guys that you like this video and uh, I, I'm not that boring that I uh, actually is always so um, let, let's just see <laughs> Uh, just watch this video till the end and uh, if you want to have a trade with me just uh, write in the comments or maybe in Instagram or in contact and we I think we can do something but that because yeah I like trades <laughs> okay bye see you in the end of this video
So guys, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it. So if you like it, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to push this great notification bell because yeah, um, I'm not so regular in my postings. So um, don't miss my newest video and uh, have a good day. Bye!